everyone, and welcome to Selwyn Tech Topics. Today we'll be going over the basics of Mango Languages, which is an app that our library offers. So the first you're gonna, thing you're going to want to do is download the app from the App Store. So we're going to click on the blue icon for the App Store. That's the one with the three white crosses there in the shape of an A. So on the home screen, we'll click on that. I had this open because I was looking for it before, so I'll just get rid of that. So you're going to want to make sure you are in the blue search bar on the bottom right there. And then you're going to tap on at the top underneath search where it says games, apps, stories, and more. You're going to click on that. And we're going to type in Mango Languages, and then we're going to press search on our keyboard. So there it is to the right there, the capital M, and then it says Mango Languages. Right now it's a cloud. It could say get either one. We're going to tap on that, and that will start to install the app onto our device. So we'll just take a moment to load there. It may take a while. It depends on your internet speed. Seems to be moving decently fast. There we are. And then once it's downloaded, it'll say open. If I press the home screen button on the front, we can see it's at the bottom there. So we can tap on that on Mango and that will open the app. We'll just press no, I don't want to send me notifications. And here we are, we can sign up or we can log in. If you already have an account, you can log in. If not, you can click on sign up. You're just going to create your profile by entering your email and creating a password. So I'll just click. So you click on that and you enter your email and then your password, and then you would just tap on sign up. Uh, alternatively, if you have an account already, you can log in. So you use your email and your password, so your email, and then you press next, and then you would put in your, your password as well. So once you're logged in, It'll show up a screen like this. So this is our languages. Um, I have French and Spanish here. If you want to add a language, you can click on the plus button in the top left there. And we can see a list of languages all the way down here. So there's quite some selection to choose from. Um, we can go through all of these. You can search one at the very top where it says language name. We'll just click on French Canadian, for example. So these are all the units. There's four main units. If we click on the first one there under people, we can go in. We see it has five chapters and 24 lessons. So this is unit one. We'll click on to chapter one. It's the who are you chapter. So you can go through all these. And here are all the lessons. Now you can download them for offline listening if you'd like to. So where it says want to learn offline, you can either download all or you can just click the down arrow on the one, two, three, four, or five there, and that'll download them individually. So here I've downloaded one and three. And if it's not downloaded, it will still have the black arrow. So now I've downloaded four and two, five. So we can download all of them. If you want to undownload them, you would just click the trash can there at the top and press delete and that will remove it off of your device. So once you're done listening to them, you can delete them. Um, and let's go and play the first one, just for an example. So we'll go through one. So um, this one's a bit through. I'm just gonna drag it back to the beginning here. So when you first open a lesson, this is what it'll look like. So this is lesson one. It tells you a bit about the conversation that you're gonna learn and the grammar. Um, you can press start at the bottom there and it will take you through the lesson. So first it's going to tell you a conversation that we're going to learn throughout this unit and these chapters. So there's a conversation. I'm just going through it quickly. You can listen to it. Uh, it gives you culture notes as well. So I'm just pressing next to go to the next page. Here we have, I'm good, je vais bien. You can go to understood right now. If you click on literal, it'll show you literal. You can also click on the words. So je vais bien. And it'll show you the pronunciation a little bit slower. Literal gives you the actual literal meaning. Um, we can also record. And so this is a cool feature. It lets you record it next to it. So if you press the hold to record there on the bottom, you can record your voice next to the audio recording and compare it to their speaker. So if I press and hold there, um, you would say it and then it would go along with that. You can line it up. And if you press the icon at the bottom, at the right there, sorry, 
it plays them at the same time. So that was just pressing the microphone in the middle of the screen there. So I'll go to next. It's going to give you some review of cards that you've previously learned here. It's giving you a prompt card. So I, and it'll give you a timeout that you need to figure out the answer for. So I, J, we press show answer. It shows that. And then we can go. We can also press the, the, button there the play button and that will auto play it so at the top right there it has an auto play button a little play button and that will play through the slides here so we can press pause or play so if you're driving or anything it's kind of nice you can go to the next page if you want to by pressing that right arrow or back left arrow you can have it repeating words at the bottom there sometimes never i think it's always as well so that's auto play um, definitely helpful if you're driving or if you need want to learn hands-free. Um, let's press X. So that was the pl black play button in the top right there. So I'll exit out of that. And yeah, so they have chapter recaps as well. You can go through all of those lessons, which are really convenient. Um, I'll go back all the way out. Use Spanish as well. You can switch between languages. So you can do two languages at once. You can also see there's a placement test at the right underneath Spanish there. It says placement test new. So for some languages, they have the placement test. Um, some of them don't offer all of it right now, but quite a few more popular languages will have this placement test. And it's basically a test that places where you are. So it tells you if you can skip a few units, if you already have some basic knowledge of the language. Um, based on your responses to this test. So it's just going to explain what the placement test is here. I'll do the next arrow, listen carefully and build sentences. So continue and start. So it, it'll show you these questions and then it'll have you play the conversation. So at the bottom, play conversation. And it will read out to you in the other language what the uh, like kind of like an example sentence and then you will answer those questions so we'll just go out of this we don't need it but you would go through all of that some languages have specialty units there we can see spanish does and then they have their main units as well you also have your daily review um and yeah i hope that's helpful good luck <laughs>